Revenant bots are running rampant. And as the Revenant locked guy, I need to do something about it. Join me on this journey of trying to kill 100 bots while learning how to kill the bots. Nice. Forcing the bot makers to update their scripts and hopefully making millions. Oh yeah, this is my Revenant locked account that can only gain experience within the Revenant caves or the Grand Exchange. If you want a full set of rules that are available in the description below. Otherwise, enjoy the video. As we saw at the beginning of the last episode, these bots are scary and very well coded. To kill these bots, we're first going to need Teleblock, and we've been hard at work since last episode. So, first things first, we have to go and get the magic level. We've just finished up enchanting all of the ruby necklaces, and now we're going to alk them, which is going to be much better at 65 experience per cast. We finished the alks, and then we headed to imps and did some stun alking. Now this is entirely within the rule set because the imp is within the GE boundaries and when splashing imps they do not teleport away. We got quite a lot of experience doing this and then we're headed back to the GE. Okay, we're currently 72 magic and the alks are done so what we're going to do now is we're actually going to buy diamond jewellery. We've got 3000 of these bad boys and they're 67 experience per which is a lot better than enchanting ruby. And do you know what's even better than enchanting diamonds? Playing the sponsor of today's video, Raid Shadow Legends. With over 80 million players worldwide and over 650 completely unique champions to collect, what is there not to love about Raid? With its proven track record, Raid never gets stale as every month new updates are added to the game including not only new champions but also new encounters to their giant list of bosses to take on. And what's even better? Raid have just celebrated the 4 year anniversary and are hosting a dinner party. What's that? Who would I invite? Well, firstly you'd have to have Rotos. Rotos is one of my personal favourites, he's one of the strongest single target nukers in the entire Raid lineup. His default skill has a chance to grant an extra turn, even on counter attacks, one of the few champions who can steal turns like that. Next, I'd have to invite Queen Eva. She's actually a boss in the campaign that you can also have on your own side. She has some nice utility in her attack buffs and heal reduction, but the most fun part for me is her AoE nuke that resets the cooldowns of all of her skills if it kills an enemy. We'd also have to have Whirling Frost King. Just look at how cool he looks. With all of the buffs and debuffs at his disposal, he's one of the most powerful champions when working through the Doom Tower. This is primarily because his decreased accuracy and decreased crit damage both ignore resistance, which can make it possible to debuff the higher floor Doom Tower bosses. And last but not least, we have Kyoku, one of the best team defenders in Raid. With her incredible skill, she can place 50% ally protection on her allies for 2 turns, as well as block damage on herself for 3 turns. And to make her even more appealing, she can also put out decreased attack on the entire enemy team with her second skill. She's seriously an incredible defensive champion to fit into your team comp. And now that we have our team comp, let's talk about an exclusive event happening in Raid Shadow Legends. This April, Raid is going on an egg hunt, but we're not talking normal eggs, we're hunting for dragon eggs. Just download Raid Shadow Legends using the links below, copy your in-game player ID and then head over to egghunt.plarium.com from April the 14th to May the 15th. Enter your player ID and then journey through the flaming portal to embark on an exciting AR adventure. Scour the dragon's lair using your phone and if you find the hidden egg you'll be in for a chance to win amazing in-game items and even real life prizes. Ranging from legendary raid champions to Amazon gift cards with a total value of $20,000. This event's for new players but existing raid players can also join in on the exciting fun as well. Go to egghunt.playroom.com and you'll find a special promo code that everyone can use to earn a small gift in game. With all of this exciting stuff and more coming to Raid, if you haven't started playing yet then what are you waiting for? Use my link in the description or scan my QR code to get insane bonuses. We're talking an epic champion, Talia, whose name is awfully close to mine so you know I'll have her on my team. And also other useful things such as energy refills, skill terms and XP boosters. Once you're in and crushing your enemies, come find me under the name Telecon and add me in game. Oh, and I almost forgot, Raid have given me a goal of 30 installs. If you'd like a free way to support my channel and me, please click the link or follow the QR code below. Remember to claim the free bonuses they're offering, and remember, Raid is completely free to download. Install Raid now and let's achieve the goal together. Also, thanks to Raid for sponsoring this video. And here is going to be 75 magic after many, many hours. We can now cast Fire Wave. Now, Fire Wave is something that we are actually going to be using quite a bit. But the downside is, that is a third combat level gain from the magic grind. The good news is, it's going to be the last one, and I'll show you why when I get one more level. And here it is, finally, 76 magic. Now, this might not directly unlock anything, but at 76, we can use this very special item called a Forgotten Brew, and it gets us 85 magic for Teleblock. As you can see, this is a plus 9 boost, and these are fairly new to the game. But, 
If I got 85 magic, I would have probably been like 62 combat, but doing it this way, I only gained 3 combat levels, which means my range is even more so in line with my current combat level. So let's head out and kill some bots. Okay, so I'm not sure how many misclicks I'm going to do and how bad I'm going to be at this, but this is our setup. The Forgotten Brews actually lower your attack and strength, meaning that bringing a maul or something probably isn't the best. So we're going to rock crossbow with magic. Now, because of this, we've got a term of fire that is charged because we can now cast fire wave. With the term, this max hit goes from a 20 to a 30, making it kind of deadly. Because of that, we haven't actually got a spec weapon, but I don't think we're going to need one for bot hunting. Problem is, if we run into another PK, we are probably kind of screwed. Oh, also we can entangle now, which is a lot better than snare. We're just going to kind of hop around here and hope we can teleblock one before they run. Oh my god, I got one. Oh, I'm so bad at this. Well, it's a learning experience. I think this might be a bot. He's instantly prayer suction. Look at that. I guess I've got to learn to deal with that somehow. Maybe I do bring a Gmall. Nice, he didn't move one tile. Wait, what? Oh, that was been a two and a half minute fight. God damn it, this is difficult. This is way harder than I thought. Okay, we're going to try a filtered spell book. And we have the bracelet on now so we can log right here. And then we hopped into the worst thing imaginable. Oh, he landed a TB on me. What the heck? Yeet it. Yeet it. Yeet it. Yeet it. Come on, that's got to be it. Yes. And then we discovered something that changed everything. Wait, this is how you deal with the bots. Oh my god, you just keep your crossbow and just major. Oh, this is sick. Okay, I found it. I found the strat. 30. Yeah, it is a bot. They don't swap prayers if you keep the crossbow on. Oh, this one's screwed. <laughs> I found the strategy, which led to our first kill of many. Yep, that's right. These bots are really, really poorly coded. They only pray against whatever weapon you have equipped. Granted, they're swapping one tick, so if you equip a Gmall, if you even have to run one, two tiles to them, they're going to get the melee prayer up. But the good thing is if we just keep a ranged weapon equipped, they'll never pray magic, meaning that we can hit a constant stream of 30s. And with our newfound power, we did end up with some collateral damage along the way. Well, we found one. Oh, this dude's dead. Is he even a bot? <laughs> I think he is. I think he made the account because of me. I am so sorry, man. 400k, that is insane. Let's see if we can get two keys in one trip. If we die to a PK, we die to a PK. -er. This dude's a bit higher level. Oh, got him. I'm going to bank now, though. That's two. Oh, two keys. What is this, a mil? Yoink. We've got a 418k. Hey, that's not bad at all. He was there for a while. Kind of feel bad though, because I think he uh, created his account because of me. And this one's a bot, which also looks very appetizing. And then we got another kill. Come on, is that it? Are we done? We're done. This is so satisfying. And another one. And another one. And they just keep coming. In fact, we were getting so good at killing these bots that not many got away at all. Wait, 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 his prayer's turned off. Is he smited? No way this is smited. He's not got an avarice on though, has he? Has he? Please tell me that's an avarice smite. No, it's not. Oh, God damn it. The only downside was their average loot is between one to 500,000 GP. Whenever the 500k, it's quite a lot. We can get like six mil an hour with 12 bots. But when it's 100k, it's not that much. Because they always take five prayer pots and a lot of food, and they normally bank when they're running out of food, so you can't really catch them low, they almost always get out of the rev caves. We do kill half of them in the rev caves, but as you'll see in these clips, a lot of them are closer to Ferox. Meaning that we don't get the guaranteed 100k for killing them in the rev caves, which does take a hit to the profits. 100k. God damn it. But if you do notice, every single bot is sculled with an avarice, meaning if we can smite them, then we can make bank. So next goal was get 52 prayer, as it shouldn't get us too many combat levels. I knew we were saving this ancient totem for something. Yeet. Now, according to the calculator, we need 1,018 dragon bones. So honestly, this isn't going to be too expensive. 
Let's get to burying. Just got 44 prayer and unlocked eagle eye. That should help out quite a bit. There's 45. Mystic Might is going to help out a lot because using magic. And here's our first combat level. Well, only combat level 59. We are moving up there, but Smite is going to be helpful for this account regardless. And there it is. We can now pray Smite. Now, the bots carry five prayer pots, so I don't think we can smite any avarices, but let's try. And with access to the new prayers, we decided to head back to the Revenant Caves to hunt down some more bots. This time, though, no rune crossbow. We've took Dragon Knives and a Granite Maul, opening all three combat styles up. As well as this, the Dragon Knives allow us to have access to the spec bar before equipping the G Maul so we can spec with it earlier. Let's see if we can get someone. We got one. And it is a bot. So let's just do some smiting. Oh my god, that was so close. But yeah, he's not going to be smited, but we got a bot kill. Yoink. I carried on and killed four more bots at Hobgoblins. Now, most of these, again, keep escaping outside. So I had a thought, let's try moving on to Revenant Demons. Now, Revenant Demons aren't much harder to kill than Hobgoblins, and they're a lot deeper into the cave. Not only are they deep into the cave, the room only has a one-way exit, so it's really easy to see where a bot's gonna run. Because it's a longer run to the outside, we should hopefully be seeing a lot more of these 100k cash stacks in the keys. Let's go see if there's any bots there. Oh, we got one. Surely this dude's not getting away. Well, it didn't, and it worked. We actually managed to kill him in the caves. Yes, he's level 50, but he still had a lot of food and we managed to kill him before he exited in the caves so we get the 100k feels good man we killed another level 50 bot and then we ran into this level 67 bot and we ended up taking him out way before the cave exit which is a really good sign oh demons are definitely better than hobgoblins so far there's so much more loot we're not gonna get him in time this is why i hate running in because they always get the teleport yep Ooh, level 50 is this the dude that we killed earlier <laughs> no way did that not kill him. Okay, he's dead. 478k. I think I'm I'm gonna stay around for a little bit, but demons are so freaking good. Oh my god, another level 50. These must all be like the same bot farm, which means this dude should have another half a mil on him. Wait, 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 wait. Is prayers off his prayers off his prayers off no shot he's smited right come on please be smited no he's not we are eating look at this oh the demon ones are there for so long one mil and then as i was getting comfortable the pk has started coming oh that was close I do not want to fight any PKs in this setup. And then the most insane demon came in clutch. They've become my friends since I've been locked to this stupid place. Wait. Oh, we got it. These are the good guys. Oh, 500k. These guys, man, these guys. This is like the perfect time to be on. And then we got another surprise, surprise level 50 once again. Oh, he died. And these level 50s drop some serious keys. One and two. And then after a couple more bot kills, we headed back to the caves and found a level 49 who looked suspiciously like a bot. Oh my god, we found a level 50 again, and for some reason they didn't run when I failed. They've got 40 prayer, but they're just not putting it on. Like, wait a minute, this might not be a bot. It started throwing entangles out and typing. This was no bot. This was prey. Pray without prayer, and I could smell the avarice. The G Mall whiffs. We finish him off with a fire wave. And we see the beautiful message in chat. Oh, I got his avarice. He didn't have any prayer. Oh, he was sat there without prayer. Finally. I don't even think I smited him. He didn't turn prayer on the entire time. Oh, we did it. We finally did it. That's all I wanted. I just wanted to get an Avarice PK. That is so good. I told you demons were the place to be. Trapped room. I'm always scared when I'm in there. But we're getting there. We are... We're figuring this out. That is so much money in the last few kills. And with the Avarice, the confidence was soaring again. So we went on a rampage.
Then, after a couple of hours of bot hunting with no big drops, we decided to go back to Hobgoblins and found this. Genuinely dumbfounds me. I have no idea what is going on. Is he smited, by the way? Has he got an avarice on? Is this a smite? Please. Yes, we got the avarice. Yep, we got a second avarice, and as you might have noticed in that clip, we had a good upgrade. We actually upgraded to the dragon crossbow. This way, we still get a spec bar and we get some big hits. But more importantly, it was at this point that the bot scripts changed. Before we explore the updated bots, however, I did die. I forgot to record it, but we lost 1.1 mil, and as it's our third death, we need to spin the dreaded forfeit wheel. Oh my god. Wait, we got we got the for, we got the get out of for I'm te I'm taking this. Get out of forfeit free card, count plus one. That is mine. Which means we can get straight back into it. Now, if I could stand to the wilderness for two seconds, as you can see, we are currently at 65 kills and 13 deaths, meaning that we got what? 50 kills to one death, and we take those. So now we're actually going to go do some revenant kills because we need our range level to catch back up to the magic. Funnily enough, because of all those PKs, we've got 49 magic short bows to use. We've not just gone out and killed revs for a while, but we're just going to rock the magic short bow and just a few pots. We are going to bring the forgotten brew and some entangles just so we can try and hit a long snare on someone and get away. If not, we've got the trees. It's a good day when demons are free. Of course, as soon as we get here. It is on level 82, which means we should realistically be able to get away. That's pretty close, but we should be out. There we go, he can't hit me now. Well, we got one kill until a PK showed up, so maybe we go try Hobgoblins again. Who is this? What is going on? Who is that? Why is... Uh, I have no idea, man. Okay, I think it was a bit... Uh, I'm screwed. I think that level 38 was friends with this guy, and I should have dipped. Also, something else that sucks. I've like completely um. Cause my ring of wealth out of charge. Did that hit? You can log with entangle, right? Please tell me you can log with entangle. This is my first time doing it. I'm sh yes. Okay, we haven't escaped with entangle. The magic level was well worth it. Well, let's see what's in level 38's key, seeing as it was very strange. I do think it was a bit. Oh, he did have an obby more. Look, I mean, it kind of makes sense to try if I was a bot. And there's the first range level of the episode 71. Also, we're just about to approach 10 mil in Revenant Hobgoblins. Look at this. We are 30k off. One good drop. Oh, we hit a collection log slot. Ancient Crystal. Oh, we haven't had a collection log in so freaking long. Oh, I am so happy. Wait, that is six out of 14. I do not mind hitting that at all. Oh my God. Oh, will the weapon next anyone? Oh my God. Did you see that spec? 14, 13. I think I'm about to pause the recording accidentally, but I think we got it. That is such a good kill. A yoink. Yeah, he just got there. Why has he got steel arrows from the accumulator? Well, 550k there and... We've got half a mil in the looting bag. That is such a good trip. I think this dude might not be a bot. Oh, he's also not got any prayer, so why am I smiting? It does have a mole, though. Fuck. I suck. I lost 1.3 mil. Jesus Christ. No idea about this one. Broken bot or something, but they did not eat. And then we get back onto the bots. Remember earlier I said that the bots upgraded the scripts? Well, this is an example of that. This is the same kind of bot that I was killing on the first few days, but now if you notice, it does pray magic. However, it's in a system. It'll pray range at first, and then when you've done two magic hits, it'll swap to magic. And then when you do one range hit, it'll swap back to range, and then two magic hits again before it swaps back while you've got a range weapon equipped. So basically, you can kind of trick these bots by doing two mage hits, one range, two mage hits, one range. And it works out really well. I got another couple of kills, got a little bit cocky, tried getting a third and ran into a PKer. Oh, this is a PKer. Interesting. 
He's not got Teleblock, but he's got 91 range and 95 magic. Jesus Christ. Let's not lose these keys. Number one and number two. And we kept killing. We became the Revenant Cave's menace. We killed people who gave up. This person's just accepted their fate, I think. Yeah, okay. We killed some proselyte warriors. I got him. He was trying to entangle me, bless him. We found a lot more bots. So it's going to be two mage hits, watch. And then he's going to swap to prim mage. So we do a range hit. And then on the next hit, we do magic because he'll swap back. And then we get two magic hits in, then he runs. And then we entangle. And then we do one bolt. This is literally, this is just textbook bot right now. And we even got some lucky kills on PKers. No way! <laughs> the last hit, we've killed a PK, that is hilarious. Then all of a sudden, we we're at 100 kills and we felt accomplished. This is the loot from all of the kills on this account so far. Somewhere around like 87 we're done this episode. We're currently at 29.1 mil from loot keys. Now you might remember from a previous episode that we did get a 14 mil PK but we didn't have loot keys on then. So this is not bad at all, we're averaging just about 300k a kill. And we've got a lot more to come. This account's gonna take a long time to finish the collection log. Let's try and focus on a wilderness weapon next episode. I'm feeling lucky.